The new Potter OSYSU supervisory switch is used to monitor the position of an OSNY type valve. It is a three position switch with the center position being normal. Normal is when the switch is installed on the valve. The valve is fully open and the trip lever of the switch is sitting down in the groove of the valve stem. As the valve is closing, the valve stem moves in while the trip lever of the OSYSU rides up and out of the groove and trips the switch. Also, if the switch were removed from the valve, the spring would pull the trip lever over and activate the switch. There are three visual indicators on the OSYSU to help with the installation. When the device is in the normal position, the white mark will be visible through the window. The trip lever will be lined up with the mark on the mounting bracket. And finally, the switch buttons will be depressed by the switch actuator. An ohm meter, or continuity tester, should always be used to confirm the installation. The switches are marked for a normal, valve open condition. Most OSNY type valves come from the manufacturer with the groove for the OSYSU switch already machined into the valve stem. If the groove is not there, you'll need to file a groove. Use a 3 16 inch or 1 quarter inch non-tapered round file and file a groove 1 8 inch to 3 16 inch deep. Deburr and smooth off the edges of the groove so it doesn't damage the packing gland of the valve. With the valve in the fully open position, locate the OSYSU across the valve yoke so that the spring-loaded trip lever of the OSYSU is being pulled against the valve stem. If possible, you want to mount the OSYSU in this position with the flat side of the mounting bracket towards the handwheel so as to not create a pinch point between the valve handwheel and the OSYSU. The length of the trip lever is adjustable if necessary. Just loosen this screw and slide the lever out so that it is just past the valve stem and retighten the screw. Mount the OSYSU with the carriage bolts and clamp bar. The carriage bolts can be inside or outside the yoke, wherever they fit best. The serrated surface of the mounting bracket helps prevent the device from slipping while tightening the carriage bolts. When mounting the OSYSU in this position, it is usually best to use the white indicator visible through the window to aid in initially locating the OSYSU in the correct position on the valve yoke. If you have to install the OSYSU in the opposite position, use the other indicators, the switch activator, and or the notch in the mounting bracket. Final adjustment can be made by slightly loosening the two screws connecting the base to the mounting bracket and using the fine adjustment feature. Final adjustment is correct when the OSYSU activates within the first two revolutions of the handwheel as the valve is being closed. It is very important to fully close the valve to make sure the OSYSU does not restore as the trip lever rolls over the threads of the valve stem. Then restore the valve to fully open and make sure the OSYSU restores to normal. There should not be continuity between the common and normally open terminals when the valve is fully open. Thank you for using the Potter OSYSU supervisory switch. If you have further questions about any of our products, please contact our tech support team by calling 866-956-0988 or emailing tech at pottersignal.com.